Hello, Cybabe Shills. Cybabe here with another video on homeopathy. Unfortunately, I keep finding these nutty remedies that somebody claimed is going to cure a disease that can't be cured by sugar pills or water because water doesn't have a memory. It just fucking doesn't happen. I thought last video was going to be the last video. Then somebody forwarded me a homeopathic asthma remedy. And I was furious that it's homeopathic and gluten-free. Does that mean that the water has a memory of the gluten and hence it's really strong gluten? Shortness of breath, wheezing, and tightness in the chest. But it doesn't say that it relieves those. It just says, it just kind of lists the symptoms vaguely. Like if I were to list on my website uh, blowjobs, hair extensions, and foot massages, but not actually say that I give them. Just I'm just gonna put them on a list. Oh, jobs! Oh no, I, I don't. I don't do them. I just want them on a list somewhere on the front of my website, right? Doesn't that make sense? That's about as much sense as listing these things on a bottle of just water, because that's pretty much all that's in here. Grindula, Obelia, and Flata. Aralia, Resimosa. I feel like I'm back in Harry Potter. Uh, Lobelia and Flata. Does that mean you have an uh, an inflated frontal lobe. Phosphorus, Quebraco. What? Uh, anybody here who doesn't speak Latin know what any of these mean? You walk into the store and you see that these are diluted and these are written in Latin. You don't know what these ingredients are. Do you know what the proper dosage is for your child? How much of this are you supposed to give to your child when they stop breathing? Because this it's really just fucking water. So I asked the people at home, my followers, what they thought of this and if they wanted this or if they wanted real fucking medicine. Let's take a look at their replies. My name is Matt Ward. I have asthma. My name is Courtney. I have asthma. My name is Steve. I have severe asthma. My name is Melissa and I was diagnosed with asthma when I was two years old. My name is Elizabeth. I have asthma. My name is Gareth. I have asthma. I'm Brent, and I'm a real fucking asthmatic. My name's Sean, and I have asthma. My name is Jake, and I have asthma. My name is Jessica Shepard, I have asthma. My name is Kirsten, I have horrendously horrible asthma. My name is Kirsten, and my mom has asthma. My name is CJ, I have asthma. Hi, my name's Wendy. Right now, I'm having an asthma attack. Hi, my name is John, and I have asthma. My name is Irene, and I have asthma. My name is Terry Flood. I have asthma. My name is Natalie, I have asthma. My name is Scott, I live with asthma. My name's Tim, I have asthma. My name's Mary, I'm a respiratory therapist. My name is Mike, and I'm a respiratory therapist. My name is Sarah, I am an asthmatic runner. I'm Adam Wells, I have asthma. I'm Rebecca, I have asthma. My name is Mike, I have asthma. I'm Jerry Hillman. I'm an asthmatic. My name is Teresa, and I'm a bit of a hippie. My name's Elijah Gardner. I have asthma. Hi, my name is Noelle Gatley. My name is Natasha. I have asthma. My name is David. I have asthma. This is Danica, and she's three years old. And about a year ago, we were referred to a pediatric pulmonologist where she was diagnosed with asthma. I want real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. I need real fucking medicine. This is Dr. King's um, asthma care bullshit medicine. I need real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. I need real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. I need real fucking medicine. And I need real fucking medicine. Instructions say to spray this three times for temporary relief of asthma symptoms. I want real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. My patients deserve real fucking medicine. My patients deserve real fucking medicine. I'd like some real fucking asthma medication. I want real fucking medicine. We need real fucking asthma medication. I want real fucking medicine. She needs real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. It's not doing anything. I want real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. I need real fucking medicine. I need real fucking medicine. 
I want real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. Danica, what do you need for your asthma? Uh, I need real fucking medicine. <laughs> I need real fucking medicine. This is no better than water. This is so beautiful. This is my fucking medicine. And this has saved my life more times than I can possibly count. I want real fucking medicine. I want real fucking medicine. It's brew my own kombucha, and I'm even known to make my own deodorant. And when I have an asthma attack, I want real fucking medicine. Without real fucking medicine, I'd be a real fucking dead asthmatic. Someone's going to take this and die. <sighs> Singular. It's full of real, life-saving fucking medicine. Albuterol. Real fucking medicine. Dulera. This is my Simbacort. And Enzofenex. Sorry, I'm a little lightheaded because I'm having a hard time breathing. This is not going to help. And I want real effing medicine. My name's Chad, and I need my fucking medicine so I can do CrossFit. I'll be doing my first half marathon this weekend. Thanks to this stuff, I get to be the best in exercise. But I need real fucking medicine to do that. I need real fucking medicine. So now that you've heard from people who actually have asthma, do me a favor, I've set up a petition, sign it, spread it around, send it to CBS and Walgreens, and let them know what you think about this bullshit. Because people with asthma deserve real fucking medicine, and this, this won't even get your cat off the furniture half the time, trust me, I've tried. Anyways, uh, we uh, thank you so much for tuning into this. Uh, I'm Cybabe, thank you again. Because homeopathic just means alcoholic. I don't want my grandmother's cure for colic. So please believe me when I say I want real fucking It doesn't even work getting cats off the furniture. Maybe it's homeopathic water. No cats were harmed in the making of this video.